It's official. This is the end of free EV charging in the UK. Today, Tesco and Podpoint announced price rises for all of their chargers at all of their stores across the country. For many people, the free charging at Tesco has been a massive benefit to them. It's been hugely lowering their cost of motoring, but not everybody's been terribly happy about it. Let's have a look at this press release from Podpoint today, which outlines the changes. There are changes taking place across the Tesco EV charging network. From the 1st of November, there will be new prices for using charging points. Here's everything you need to know about the new prices. Tesco is introducing the following new tariffs for charging at its stores. 7 kilowatt chargers will be 28 pence per kilowatt hour. 22 kilowatt chargers will be 40 pence per kilowatt hour and 50 kilowatt will be 50 pence per kilowatt hour. So there's some FAQs here as well. Why are you slash Tesco making this change? The Tesco EV charging network developed in partnership with Podpoint and Volkswagen has provided more than 86 million miles of free electric driving. Overall, the Tesco EV charging network has also saved over 12,000 tonnes of CO2. The new tariffs are some of the most competitive in the market and will enable us to continue investing in our network. It's hoped that by making these changes, customers will only top up when they need to, ensuring they make way for others once their cars are charged. The new tariffs will go live on Thursday the 1st of November and are some of the most competitive in the market. The usual signposted car park restrictions will still apply and you can pay using the Podpoint app or online guest checkout where available. Contactless payment is available for the rapid chargers. There is no discount for shopping in store, however Tesco want to ensure the public charging remains accessible through great value tariffs. And Tesco is committed to expanding its national rollout of EV charging and this is on track to hit 600 stores by the end of spring 2023. So that is pretty huge news and I'm sure not everybody's going to be particularly happy about it. It's never good when a good thing comes to an end and I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that are a little bit, oh that's not good, I'm going to have to pay. But, in my opinion, this actually has to be a good thing going forward. Free charging breeds bad behaviour. If something's free, people will take it whether they need it or not. People will go to Tesco, they'll plug in whether they need to charge or not, which means for people that actually really need to use a charger, chargers aren't available. We've also seen lots of people moaning on like social media and stuff like that about certain courier companies abandoning their vans on every charger and you know they've gone to Tesco to do a shop and there's just been vans using every single charger and they've not been able to get anywhere near them. Companies abandoning vans overnight and, and, and you know really sort of abusing this perk that's been put in place for customers. And I think the tariff is still pretty reasonable. Yes there are cheaper overnight tariffs although they're getting few and far between these days but for a lot of people their home tariff is still you know 34 pence per kilowatt hour or maybe even more and so 28p for a 7 kilowatt charger i think is still pretty reasonable i'll certainly still make use of it uh, it's really really handy especially with ami being a short range vehicle can plug in can top up just a little bit usually maybe put back in what i've sort of taken out by getting there and it just means if you're running a little bit low on range you can just top it up just a little bit and i think for anybody with a short range ev that's still invaluable even if you do need to pay a little bit for it and I think driving the availability and actually allowing people the fair chance to use their chargers is a really good thing. I think Tesco's probably about the last bastion of the free charging. I know there are still the odd ones dotted around here and there, but it was definitely the only place where you could sort of guarantee national availability of free chargers. So it is quite interesting that that's coming to an end, but then it was never going to last forever. At the end of the day, electricity costs have soared everybody's having to pay more for the electricity so to keep giving it away doesn't seem particularly sensible but it does seem to me at least with the tone of these press releases that it is more about ensuring availability and to stop this sort of widespread abuse of the service and actually making it fairer for everybody and i don't really have a problem with that the price rises on the rapid chargers might be a little bit harder for some people to swallow because obviously I'm, I'm, right now and until the first of november they're 28 pence per kilowatt hour which is i mean it's the cheapest in the industry by miles and even increasing to 50p, it makes them in line with what you pay at like Osprey or Ionity or whatever using the Bonnet app. And it's actually quite a bit cheaper than the sort of walk up rate with most of those networks. So I still think it's fair. And I still think you've got that little bit of encouragement to actually go to Tesco and to shop there because the charging still represents decent enough value for money. There's been a, 
already people reacting to this news saying like, oh, I'll just shop somewhere else. And so, well, I'm not convinced that people's shopping habits are actually driven by saving a few pence on some charging. I've seen people saying, oh, well, Lidl's cheaper to shop in anyway. Well, if it is, if that's true for the basket of shopping that you're buying, then you're probably going to save more than what the charging would cost anyway. So I don't really understand that argument. I think anybody going out of their way to go to Tesco because there was free charging that now won't because you need to pay for it, I think those people are few and far between. What I also think is a bit odd is people now saying, oh, well, I won't use these chargers anymore because they're pointless anyway. Well, you are exactly the reason why these charges are being put in, in place. You, people that, that rock up and charge just because it's free are exactly the reason why they're applying a tariff, right? Because people that shop there that actually need to charge can't do so because people are just using the chargers for the sake of it. So I think anybody that's saying, oh, well, the seven kilowatt chargers are pointless, so I won't use them. Perfect. That's exactly what we need is for them to be available for people that actually need them. So I think that's great. What is quite interesting is that so Tesco at their head office have a great number of pod point chargers that up until now have been free for staff to use. And they are actually on the 1st of November implementing exactly the same tariffs there. So staff at the head office will pay exactly the same as what customers do at the stores. It's an interesting move. It's not proven to be the most popular, but I think it, it is quite interesting because it, it sort of takes away any disparity there. And I think it's also the right thing to do in terms of how that's then appears to store colleagues who would have no choice but to pay for their charging using the chargers at the stores. It's probably not fair that their colleagues at head office get to charge for free. So I think the parity there is commendable. I think that's pretty good. As always, I want you to let me know what you think in the comments. I think this is going to be very, very controversial. I think there's going to be a wide range of views. A lot of people seem to be in support of this. A lot of people seem to be in support of tariffs being applied to these chargers. But then there is also, also probably an equal number of people that are now being very vocal about why they'll never shop in Tesco again and, and why it's absolutely terrible that something they've been able to abuse for free for ages is now not going to be available to them. So definitely let me know what you think. I think this will evoke quite a lot of discussion. But that is it for this very, very quick sort of breaking news, breaking EV news bulletin. Free charging is no more. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.